and ready right now to go out and go to my doctor appointments and you guys are going to come with me um i really don't know how much i'm going to record in there just because it's i don't know it's just kind of like a follow-up with my anxiety and stuff so i haven't seen her in a while and with this whole pandemic that we're going through it's brought on quite a lot um it's just a follow-up it's not just an appointment i made because i'm can't control or anything it's just a follow-up i do follow up every like two to three months with her so kind of keep on track and see how i'm doing and so i'm just gonna go brush my teeth and i gotta finish up my makeup and my battery's dying Okay guys, so my appointment's not till 10.15 and it's 8.30. I thought it was at 9.15. So unfortunately, I don't know why you keep looking over here. Um, unfortunately, I have an hour to spare. So I'm going to go ahead and go vacuum my car. And while I'm vacuuming my car, take a look at what happened last night. What's up guys? <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. So we are in a really weird position. We're actually laying down getting ready for bed. And then this happens. What happened? I do. He lost his tooth today. It's been loose for probably, I want to say, like two weeks. Um, and he's just been wiggling it and wiggling it. And finally, what were you doing when it came out? I was like putting my tongue first and like pushing it back a little bit. You're wiggling with your tooth? But, but then, what were after you doing? I feel it when it's really loose. I just sneaked it out. Yeah, so he comes to me and mm -hmm. he's like, my tooth. And like his lips were bloody and like all right here is bloody. I was like... My gosh, what the heck happened? He's like, I lost my tooth, I lost my tooth. And I was like, what'd you do? And he goes, I just yanked it out. <laughs> <laughs> so now we wait for the tooth fairy. He has his little tooth under his pillow. So, right. oh boy, what'd you do with it? Okay, you better, put it right under the you better put it under the pillow. So I actually had gotten him a little tooth fairy pillow little thing for it, but it hasn't came yet, so it came... It's, I ordered it like two weeks ago while his tooth was loose. So yeah, I think it's been loose for two weeks. And it still hasn't gotten here. So we have a baggie. We're going to put it underneath the pillow. You're going to show them your tooth? Oh, look at it. It is so super duper duper tiny. He has such tiny little teeth. Let me see. Well, not your big teeth, huh? Look how little his teeth are. Oh my goodness. They're so tiny. And he's lost all, almost all of his bottom ones, and then almost like his four top ones. Mm -hmm. He's already lost. But we're gonna go to bed, and we will see you in the morning. We'll see you in the morning when the tooth fairy comes. I tell us he needs red. From the tooth fairy? Let me see your TV. Ooh, that must have been a good tooth. Must have been a good one. Your tooth fell, not being there. Good. Yeah, it's early. So weird. Yeah. When I close my mouth, it's like kind of on it. Yeah. Hmm. Let me see. Make sure you brush it really good this morning, okay? But he oh, didn't keep. He didn't give me. I don't think the tooth fairy brings you bee bucks. What if he did? I don't know. What if it's outside? What if it's outside? Stop it. My nose. Yeah. You're a rich boy. You better put that five bucks away. So I'm here at my doctor's office right now. As you can see. At my doctor's office. And just waiting to be seen. So, yeah, I think we're going to talk about my gallstones. And. Hi, Marcella. Could that be the, the anxiety just happening? I think so. I could be. Yeah, if you're getting that yeah. anxious. Because it feels like, like, you know, like when you have to do like a speech in front of someone and you get really nervous. Uh -huh. That's where it feels. It's like all of my it's stomach and then it goes into my chest and it's oh, like it's okay. constant. Okay. But you don't actually throw up? Do you actually vomit when you do that? No, it's just like a nauseous, like a nervous, nauseous feeling. Okay, guys. So I'm done with my appointment. Um, we talked about a lot of things. We talked about coronavirus. We talked about just my health and what's gonna happen with my gallbladder and what I should be doing um, so just huge diet change and just continue to do my exercises and stuff and 
it's crazy because this whole pandemic that we're in, it's so crazy and they're like, oh, it's gonna be a week, it's gonna be two weeks, it's gonna be like another month or two months before all this happens or it all blows over and like we're talking about it and even she's like, I don't think it's gonna be for like another year, at least until there's a vaccine for it. There's not, our reality and the world is not gonna come together probably for at least another year and I totally agree with that. I don't know if you guys do or not, but I don't think this world is gonna come to an end or this pandemic is gonna come to an end anytime soon. I think it's just, this is just how it's gonna be. And it kind of worries me because of the school system and all that stuff, it's like whatever, I can deal with not having Kohl's open or Michael's open, well, kind of, I'm, I want Michael's to be open again. But I just see that this is just how it's gonna be. And like I said, I'm worried about the schools not reopening and I think that social distancing, social distancing homeschool is gonna happen probably for the next school year as well. And I think this is just how life is gonna be and we just really need to learn to adapt to it. So it was kind of nice talking to my doctor instead of talking to like friends or whatever, you know, it's like a different scenario. So I'm kind of glad I was able to go in and talk to her and stuff, but we're gonna head back. So yeah, I gotta head back to the kids, feed them some lunch and go on with our day. Not sure what our day holds, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm at Target and I'm looking for some, like a melatonin, like something to help me sleep better. And they have so many different things. I'm like, which one do I get? Oh, let me just kind of show you. So these ones are like my favorite, which I'm not sponsored, um, but these ones are my favorite. Ugh, but I don't know, 15 bucks. I don't know if I want to spend that right now. They have all these different vitamins. Look at Goodbye Stress Hair. Who knew that they had all this stuff? I'm like just looking at all these different multivitamins. And then of course they have the kids ones too. Ugh, I don't know which one to get. So I might just continue with my, um, I used to get the ones from like Walgreens, like the Walgreens melatonin. But I'm thinking of going back to Ollie, like I did before, but I don't know, man. I think they all kind of just work the same, to be honest. Maybe I'll just get this one. This one is 20% um, more, so instead of 50, I'm getting 60 of them. I don't know, I'll just get these ones. And then I'm just gonna get me some Ziploc baggies because I need to, we went grocery shopping yesterday and I need to separate meat. So I'm just getting you some Ziploc bags. Then I'm looking, oh, almost fell. <laughs> I'm looking for like some um, concealer and stuff. And so I have like three different ones and I'm not sure which one I want. I have Alme. I have, whoa, which one is this? I, know, I have the Elf one, which I heard a lot of people like Elf. And then I have Revlon. So I'm not for sure which one, but as I was looking for certain things, I came across pocket hand sanitizer, you guys. I can't believe I found this. It was like just thrown on a shelf, so I'm getting that um, because I don't have my pocket one anymore. So I'm super happy I found some. It's like gold, man. Gold stuff. Okay, so I successfully got out of there. I did I, with one bag, you guys, one bag. And just let you know, those. If you're just wondering, those Ziploc bags were $2.83 versus the actual Ziploc brand that was $4.99. So I saved going with the Target brand, which I don't mind because I, will, I like Target brand anyways. Um, I did get a few extra things that I probably didn't need, but do we really need anything when we go to the store? Like just randomly? No, probably not. So I'm trying to figure out where to set y'all. So it is so hot in here. Fun fact, if you guys don't know, this window does not go down. Wagner was trying to fix my window and he took off one of the springs on my window and it, yeah, it won't go down. So we have door stoppers to keep my window up. I know, ghetto fabulous, right? Um, I'm actually going to put down my phone because that's what I'm using to vlog this, pretty much this entire video um, is with my phone. So sorry guys. I actually like having my sunglasses on when I'm vlogging because you don't know if I'm looking here or if I'm looking at the camera. So it's kind of cool. We'll be back at the house, so see you then. Oh my gosh. He, so he just got hurt outside. You want to tell them how you got hurt? I was going too fast on the hoverboard. I fell up in the 
um, hoverboard went so it like in the middle of the road. Yeah, went like tumbling in the road, I, huh? I was like, whoa, I don't want you anymore. I don't want you to sit on me anymore. Oh my gosh. So we put a band aid. Let me see. So we put an emoji band aid. Does it make you feel happy now? Yeah, it's a little red. It's a little red. My Your foot, foot, too? Yeah, I like slammed it. Yeah, he actually did. He was like, boom. Oh my goodness. It, it sounds like, it kind of sounds like um, a car crash. Like the one where it goes like, Arr! it did. It was all ting, 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 ting. It was like, Pish! the hoverboard went flying in the middle of the road. And he's like more concerned about the hoverboard. Yeah. He's like, the hoverboard, get the hoverboard. And I'm like, what just happened? And he was like on the ground and he fell. So we're trying to improvise. Ozzy's bike has a flat tire, so he's riding Jaden's bike, which he can, but he's just a little bit too big for it. Uh, and then um, Jaden was not gonna ride his bike, so then he got on the hoverboard and it went like all the way down to the road. He was like so concerned about the hoverboard and not him on himself. Look at this big boy. I'm on Jaden's bike. This thing's big. It is big. I should make a video of his bike, how big it is. It's very big. Welcome. Thank you for coming outside. With your emoji. Wow. With your emoji elbow. With your emoji elbow. <laughs> Cute. Emojis always make us feel better, huh? You guys, do you guys like my hair like this? I did something a little different with it. Actually, it was you just curled in, it. It's not even curled. No, it's did not curled. Me? It's like kind of have like my natural, a little bit how did over you, natural. How did but, you do that? So I had a um, a French braid in my hair. Remember how I put the French braid all the way like this down my hair? And I took it out in the morning and then it was just like super wavy. I don't even know if you guys can see it. But it's super but, wavy. Uh -huh. I kind of like the wave to it. I don't like super straight hair. But then I don't like just barely wavy. I kind of like this type of wavy. So I don't know. I kind of like it. I'm kind of digging it. Does it look what? pretty? Yeah. But I have an idea. Excuse what? me. Does what? it look pretty? Yes. <laughs> Mommy, I have an idea. What, baby? Remember we have that plastic, that plastic um, pole? What do we have yeah. a lot of um, orange stars and put that water? Wait, that oil goes What are orange? golden stars? Like that, like corn starch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to do it when he gets warmer. It's supposed to be up to like 80s or 90s this week. And he wants to fill it up with corn starch and water and like play out here in it. So I think that'll be fun, like a little fun thing. It's supposed to be like 80 or 90 but this week. But we're gonna have to wash our swim so, shorts. Yeah. So hopefully it'll be good to do that. Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be something different. Yeah, we can like handstand. Yeah. And get, like, and you can run stuck. across it and then you won't get stuck. <laughs> It's so cool. Yeah, then run around there because you will get stuck sometimes. Milo. Oh, my so dog always barks, you guys. How do I get him to quit barking? All right, guys. So I just got out of working a little bit from home. Um, I've been making earrings. I finished up some hair bows and stuff. Let me go to show you guys what I'm making. Look at the little earrings that I make. Aren't they so cute? They just kind of hang. Adorable. There you go. So they just kind of hang right there. They're super cute. They're doubled. And then it has like um, sparkles underneath. But the camera's not picking it up, so I don't know. All right, guys. So we just got back and went and picked up Michaela. Say hi, Michaela. Hi. Hey, hey. And this just happened. Hardly ever happens, but it happened. Now he's sleeping. Mommy, carry you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll carry you. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys. I got this little booger, but it's getting cold outside. Look at the skies. It's getting so cold, huh? Oh, we need to take in all these toys you guys left out here. Here. Oh, then, Bubby. Good night, Ozzy Puzzy. And it is bedtime in the chaos house. Good night, mister. Good night. That's for the two fairy. Okay, good night, Papa. I made a Oh. Bob Burgers. Fun fact, that's my favorite show ever. Mom, look. 
There was my dog. I was trying to find No, it. you found it. Good night, Michaela. All right, guys. So I'm going to bed, and we will talk to you in the morning. Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me